distance formula. We have here d is equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 raised to the second power plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 raised to the second power. This Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about how to find the distance between two given points on a Cartesian plane. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now here guys, at the top of this paper, this is the formula for the distance, or the distance formula. We have here d is equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 raised to the second power plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 raised to the second power. This x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2 are the coordinates of the two points that we need to find its distance. So let's start with item number 1. We have here 5, 9, negative 7, and negative 7. Let's say, for example, this point is point A, and this is your point B. Before we use this formula, we need to put the label which one is the x sub 1, y sub 1, etc. Here, since this one is the first point, let's say your 5 is your x sub 1. This is your y sub 1 because A is the first point. Next, this is x sub 2 and then y sub 2. And since we are done putting the labels in each coordinate, we can simply use now the formula. But instead of using D, we will use AD to represent the distance from point A to point B. Now, we have here AB is equal to the square root of, remember, this is x sub 2. Your x sub 2 is negative 7. Then minus your x sub 1 is 5. So minus 5 raised to the second power. Plus your y sub 2, which is negative 7. Then again, minus your y sub 1, which is equal to 9, raised to the second power. After that, substituting each value, we will simplify the numbers here. You have your AB is equal to the square root of negative 7 minus 5 to be negative 12 and then raised to the second power plus negative 7 minus 9 that is negative 16 raised to the second power. And simplifying negative 12 raised to the second power that would be 144 plus your negative 16 raised to the second power that is 256 and adding those numbers 144 plus 256 that is square root of 400 and what is the square root of 400 the answer is 20 meaning the distance between point a to point B is simply 20 units. Okay guys, so you can pause the video for a while if you want to answer this question. Let's continue. Here we have the first point which is 3 comma 8 and the second point is 9 comma 10. Let's say for example this is point C and this is point D. Now, before using this formula remember, we will put here x sub 1 y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Let's continue. You have to find distance between point C and D, and that is equal to the square root of your y, your x sub 2 is 9, the quantity of 9, minus your y sub 1, x sub 1 is 3, and raised to the second power. Now, this is plus the quantity of y sub 2 which is equal to 10 minus your y sub 1 which is equal to 8 raised to the second power. So let's continue finding the value of cd. We have the square root of 9 minus 3 which is equal to 6 squared plus this is 10 minus 8 which is equal to 2 squared. Your cd is here. Your 6 squared is definitely 36 plus 2 squared is 4. 
So simplifying those values, that would give you the answer of 40. Now, this 40 can be simplified, okay? So we can factor out 40 like 4 times 10. And we know that the square root of 4, of 4 is 2. And since 10 is not, or we cannot simplify by factoring 10, we will just copy the square root of 10. Meaning we can declare that our answer or the distance between point C and point D is 2 square root of 10 units. Or if your teacher is asking you to represent these numbers in decimals, your 2 square root of 10 is also equal to 6.32 units. So as you can see guys, there are multiple ways on how to express your answer the distance between two points. Now, next, next part of our video, what we have here are the graphs. Earlier, we are given the coordinates and we're trying to find the distance. Right now, guys, I will give you a problem where in the given are the graphs. Still, the formula is like this. Now, as you can see, we don't have the coordinates yet of each point. So we are asked here, what is the distance between this point and this point? Now, for us to name this point, let's say, for example, this is point E and this is point F. The coordinates of point E, since it is located here, that would be 0, comma, negative 1. And as for the coordinates of point F, since that is located here, that would be 2, comma, 0. Since we're already done in identifying the coordinates of the two points, we, are, we can now proceed with using the formula. But first, <coughs> your point E is here, 0, negative 1. Your point F is here, 2, comma, 0. Let's put the labels. This is x sub 1, y sub 1. This is your x sub 2, y sub 2. So we can use the formula. EF, so we have EF is equal to the square root of, we have here, x sub 2, which is 2, minus your y sub x sub 1 is 0, square, plus your y sub 2 is 0, minus, then your y sub 1 is negative 1. Now, since this is negative, we will multiply this by negative, so this is plus 1, and then square. So we can have EF is equal to 2 square root of 2 square plus 1 square. Okay? Now, simplifying 2 square, that would be equal to 4 plus the square, root, uh, the square of 1 is 1. So we can have now the square root of 5 as an answer. Meaning the distance between this point F, this point E and point F is square root of 5 units. But, again... If your teacher is asking you to give it in decimal points, that would be roughly 2.24 units. So as you can see guys, we're done finding the coordinates or we're done with the distance between these point, two points. Now, it's short term to find the distance between these two points. Let's say for example, this is point H and point J. The coordinates of this is 1 comma 5 and this the coordinates are 2 negative 2 so i hope guys learned something from this video on how to find the distance between two points so if you're new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads again it's me teacher gone maraming maraming salamat and bye bye